Hi, Ron. Thank you for joining me today as we celebrate Black History Month and the launch of the new Leading Age Equity Cabinet. Our vision at Leading Age California is to be the champion for aging services in California. And we recognize that being the champion for our field must include those whose leadership and voices have been historically diminished or excluded. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day today for a brief discussion. And can you start by introducing yourself? Well, thank you so much for uh, allowing me to participate uh, in this uh, process and program. My name is Ron Bolding. I'm uh, CEO of Pilgrim Place in um, Los Angeles or Claremont, California. And I've uh, been CEO for about two years now. And it's a congregate living facility uh, with uh, uh, skilled nursing, uh, assisted living, and independent living uh, residents here. Wonderful. Well, uh, Ron, how long have you been providing support or services for older adults? I've actually been in the industry in one form or another, or, or another for about 30 years. Uh, I started off with a group called Watts Health Foundation, uh, which is a, uh, uh, an insurance health plan for seniors, then went to another health plan uh, for another uh, 15 or 20 years, and then to um, uh, Pilgrim Place. So I've got a, a fairly extensive history uh, uh, and background with uh, seniors in the healthcare space, although not always in the uh, delivery, specific the delivery of, uh, of, of medical care, uh, but in kind of the general background of health services. All right. Well, not too long ago, you were a, a young college student. And um, when did you know you were going to be working with older adults? Well, tell you the truth, I did not. Um, I actually started as, as a college student and went from, the, uh, from college into the military, into the Navy. And I spent uh, and have a fairly extensive career with that. And but what I found in that process of going from college to the military is that there are always opportunities. And I, what I learned is that sometimes you're, uh, you're selecting an option uh, with intentionality, and then sometimes the options select you. Uh, but whatever you do, uh, whatever that option might be, uh, you give it your best. And when you do, opportunities occur. And in this case, as I indicated with um, the time I spent at Watts Health Foundation, which is a service delivery model, um, I was successful in doing the job that I origi was originally hired for and then moved up in the organization as I appreciated the need to do my best at whatever the task was that was assigned to me. Yeah, that's really great advice. So as you were moving through your career, did you experience any challenges in the workforce and how did you overcome those struggles? Well, the challenges come in oftentimes uh, when there's a lack of experience in a given field. Uh, and so what I found is that study does matter. Uh, that is, when you don't have experience, others often do have experience. And the way you can gain from that experience or learn from someone else's experience is to either attend a class or uh, interact with people who have been there longer than you or read a book and uh, take a course. And what that does is prepare you for the next task. And sometimes you don't know what that task is going to be, but if you're prepared for whatever's coming, then whatever is coming, you're ready for. And you're enabled then to meet the responsibilities of that task, even when you're not 100% sure of what that task is going to be. Yeah. Now, I know that being a, a, a servant of sorts is, it, is an important concept, and I wanted to find out what sense of purpose you experience working with and in support of older adults. Well, it's, it is a unique task, and I, I, I suppose that uh, you can think of it uh, as, you're, as you're serving people at any age, 
But when you're working with seniors, when you're working with uh, 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 senior adults, um, what you're getting from them is an appreciation for the aid that uh, you've provided for them, whether it's a changing of a bed or uh, plugging in a lamp uh, in the wall, something as simple as that, or, or um, uh, reading them a book or helping them to identify uh, how the Zoom system works. You're paying it forward and they're appreciating it as you're there. So what you get out of it is more than what you've put in. And uh, when you look at life as being satisfied with serving others, you find there's, there's no end to the benefit. There's no end, end to the joy that you get out of it. And it's real um, and it's substantive. And so I've, I've greatly benefited by it, uh, by interacting with folks, some of whom there are a couple of, uh, well, there are actually four individuals here at Pilgrim Place that are in excess of 100 years old. And it was a privilege that I had last year to sit on a couple of occasions and have dinner with them and have conversation with them. It's a real joy. So you get a lot more out than you've put in. Yeah, I love that. I, there's such richness in their experience and they're, they're willing to share and they have the time at this time in their life, which is wonderful. Um, what advice would you give to a Black individual who's, you know, as we celebrate Black History Month, who's considering a career serving older adults? Know that all individuals, Black individuals, have contributed mightily to the well-being and welfare of uh, seniors and the society at large. And that there is no end to that need. There is something called an age wave that's currently happening, of which I'm a part of, uh, uh, baby boomers. And the number of individuals who are, are aging into being 60, 65 years old is continuing to grow. Um, so those that are looking for careers, if you're interested at all in working with seniors, it's a, uh, uh, a rich territory. Uh, because both the individuals, the numbers, and the jobs that are necessary uh, for gerontology, uh, for senior support, um, are going to continue to grow. And the need is there. And as I said before, the, um, the substance of, of uh, interacting with seniors is so much um, a blessing uh, to you because you're going to get more out of it than you've put into it. Yeah, I agree. The opportunities in the senior industry and serving older adults is, is so broad. I mean, it fits a variety of backgrounds and, uh, you know, there's just, there's just so much to choose from. Um, I wanted to thank you for your time, but I wanted to also ask you a final question, and that is, do you have any other thoughts you'd like to share about uh, careers, about development, about diversity, uh, anything at all that you'd like to add? Well, your last comments are, are very appropriate here uh, as well, and that is uh, the number of careers, the diversity of careers, uh, whether it be uh, on uh, specifically uh, related to um, clinical careers or um, administrative careers uh, in the senior living facilities, you need cooks, you need, uh, you need chefs, you need folks who, uh, uh, who work on our, uh, our grounds, uh, you need electricians. There's a wealth of things that can be done that in the service of seniors, you'll find that you'll get appreciation and returned love that is really uh, goes way beyond what you'll, you'll find in any other kind of field. So uh, young black people, uh, young black males, females, there's a wealth of tasks, wealth of jobs, and um, 
a uh, just a tremendous uh, opportunity that I think is overlooked. And uh, we should not uh, in any way uh, think that uh, we can't be, uh, we can't find great growth and support and engagement of our thoughts in this process. It's, it's a wealth of opportunity here and I encourage anyone and everyone to look into it. Thank you, thank you. Those are wise words and thank you for your time uh, as we discuss ensuring racial equity and aging services and serving older adults, for sharing your insight and for your dedication to the safety and care of older adults. I just greatly appreciate you, Ron. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. All right, thank you. Bye.